A question I've always wondered is can a 747 operate with two GE90 engines? Well you see the most powerful engines that we have today have the same region of thrust as the engines used on the 747s. So in terms of pure thrust, the numbers just about work. A GE90 engine will give you in the region of 115,000 pounds of thrust and the earlier engines on the 747s have ranged from 46,000 to 63,000 pounds of thrust. Now simply doubling the thrust per engine shows you're on the right track, but not at the top end of performance. Thrust availability has varied across the model significantly with the maximum takeoff weight. And the new 747-8 is at the top of the thrust and the weight range, so it would give you the biggest problem in the re-engining challenge. Aim for an older, lighter one if at all. The GE90 engine gives you a lot of thrust, right? But accommodating it is going to be a huge challenge. If you can get a better fuel consumption from the two big engines than the four older ones, then you might need less fuel to cover a set distance. So it will be carrying less weight and will make up for the thrust with the weight being slightly lower. If not, then the performance will have to be lowered, adjusting the maximum takeoff weight slightly downwards. However, this is the easy bit. The hard part is how the engines will be mounted and keep the aircraft sufficiently controllable. The wings are currently stressed to have the thrust neatly distributed between two places on each wing. Now you want to double the thrust and run it through one location on the wing. You need to ask yourself the question, can the wing take this point load? Probably not to be honest. So the wing will need strengthening by a huge margin. Next, the engines will need to be mounted on the inner wing stations if it's even possible. I mean the plumbing and the structure is already there However, the wings currently benefit from bending relief from the outboard engines, which offsets the upwards bending moment due to lift. The stress models and the fatigue tests will need to be recalculated. Or maybe is this a bit too much? And you could totally redesign the engine and make one designed for two big engines with a more modern aerofoil design. Now the thrust asymmetry on an engine failure is what drives the size of the tail. In the event of a single engine failure, the thrust asymmetry with two big engines is going to be huge. So you probably need to design a newer and a bigger tail, or compensate it with vertical surfaces on the tailplanes if a bigger tail is not possible. So can you really add two GE90 engines on the 747? Well you probably could, but the work required will be enormous and by the time you've finished, you probably would have been better off designing a new aircraft from scratch. Just a simple swap of 4 engines to 2 engines is impossible in this case, but it would look quite awesome to be honest. Although it's wishful thinking and practically it's impossible, there's nothing wrong with daydreaming right? Let me know what your thoughts are anyways. Thank you so much for watching my fellow captains, stay tuned for more aviation videos.